Levi, Thomas, uh, we're almost, uh, I think it's about nine weeks, nine weeks time, is it, mate? Yeah, nine, ten weeks. Uh, September, is it September the 9th? Um, uh, at Blackpool, so I mean, it's, I know it's not your hometown, but it's your adopted, it's your adopted boxing town, isn't it? Yeah. We're here at Sharp Star, which was absolutely buzzing again today. It's uh, like when they used to come down when you were all little kids, and uh, arguably one of the best amateur gyms in the country. Um, hopefully, he's now going to be one of the best pro gyms in the country because the place is packed with, with talent. Obviously, you two, there's Big Jake, um, Big Lewis. Um, is it just a four of you now yeah, playing out there? But it was only one, it was just young Jake on his own. And everything shut down, you all wandered all over the place. Uh, now you've all migrated back down here. And hopefully, like I say, we can put Blackpool seriously on the, on the boxing map. Because the talent that uh, both of you, phenomenal, fantastic amateurs. Um, and I'm generally excited to see where you both can go. Thomas, was you, I think it was 55 fights, 50 wins? 55 fights, 50 wins, yeah. How many national titles? Four. Four? Four. GB titles one or one? GB, one European. And Levi? Uh, four national titles, one GB and one world, world's brand, brands. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad, no. Um, it's good at the pros now, isn't it? <laughs> And then you were a late addition. Uh, you came to, you'd had a few fights before you came to Sharp Style, didn't you, as I mentioned? Yeah, that 10, 1 6 or something. Yeah. And then when you came to Sharp Style, very, you lost very few. Yeah, and I've had like 60 or something. Oh, no, I lost like 12 and then 12. <laughs> Phenomenal. Yeah. But you, Tom, you've been here all your amateur career, haven't you? Basically, since they on, since about 10, 11 year old, yeah. yeah. So uh, is this a natural progression? Because you're both, you're both still 19, are you? Uh, I'm 18, mate. You're 18? 18, yeah. And you're 18? Yeah. What about when September comes? Are you both going to be still? I'm 19 then. You're 19? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've only just turned 18, so. So it's exciting times for you, isn't it? Literally, you must have just put pen to... When you, when you turned 18, that was when you put pen to paper. It was the same month in April. I was, uh, my birthday was on the 1st and I signed the 24th, I think it was, or something like that. And you, when, when, when we did the interview, we did the interview at the VIP office when you literally just put pen to paper. Uh, you had a, a little damage, was it wrist? It was me thumb. Oh, was it your thumb? And, and everything's all right, you're back punching that well. I can see that because you've been doing it today. But it, 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 do you like that, the way Andy makes you think about what you're doing? Yeah, but you can't go to a fight and not think of it. Because cause you do, you, 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 he doesn't just bark instructions at what he wants you to do. He, he makes you think about what you're going to do and then uh, gets you to so I can, you know, react and, 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 and think about what you would opponent do and those openings that he'd make. It's as hard as physically as it is mentally. It's like you've got to think before you throw and stuff like that. It's, it's you don't just throw for sake of it, innit? You got a good marks there, anyway. Not only you were the champion planker, um, but uh, he, he, he liked the little power shots that you were doing with him. Yeah, <laughs> But uh, are you, you excited where, where this journey is going to go for both of you? Yeah, of course. Like, we've done it in the amateurs now, just need to like, take on to the pros, innit, and do the same. And you feel that's not going to be too hard a step? Yeah, I think it's going to be better. Mm -hmm. Let's take it slow. Because you look like time. a little version of Lewis Wright, don't you? He looks like your big brother, doesn't he? <laughs> and a big version. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm saying you look like a little version of him, though. Nah, he's a little version of him. <laughs> well, would you love to be? Would you love to be his weight? Would you like to be 100 and odd kilos? Like anywhere, innit? I'm yeah. bothered. What are you going to be? You're going to be a super lightweight, aren't you? Yeah, super lightweight. And, no. and you're super, super featherweight? Yeah. I think it's super featherweight or lightweight, something like that. Well, but at your age, I suppose it doesn't really matter. You don't know where you're going to go. You, you could both have at least maybe another two growth spurts. So, um, but whatever happens, I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just watching you today, and uh, I, I was, I've always been impressed with both of you. But uh, I'm so looking forward to when you make your debut because I think it's going to be a top night. Obviously, Jake's up there, maybe topping the bill. We, we're looking like we're trying to get a big fight for him. Lewis is down there, we've got Will Goldie, Galloway on there, I think all Blackpool kids. I think J Jackson Hume's going to be on there. Um, it looks like it's going to be a top, top night at Winter Gardens. Yeah, it'll be a good night of boxing. It's yeah. going to be packed. Some celebrating afterwards.
No. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. I'll see you. Uh, well, I'll see you in a few weeks. We'll catch up when we have an opponent. Uh, we obviously we've got a date and we, we've got a venue, but hopefully we'll have an opponent in uh, five or six weeks and uh, something for you to head towards. Lads, we'll we'll love you the rest of camp. Thank you. Later. Bye. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.